<clears throat> Alright, so, you good? Very good. Alright, so Eric came up about two months ago, actually a little bit longer than two months ago, but I've been doing it for about two months. Um, when he told me about this business model, I was like, bro, what are you talking about? How is that even possible? How does that even work? Um, and literally, guys, we make money printing cash. Hmm. So we're business partners, 60-40 um, um, in this business venture. Um, and when he told me it didn't really make sense, um, but we literally make money through ATMs, you know, those machines, printing cash. We literally print cash and make money. Probably like, what the hell? That doesn't even make sense. Like, how can you print cash and make money? Um, so we just want to do a quick live feed. Um, we linked up tonight, so we're like, let's just talk about it because he's been getting a lot of questions lately because um, he's been talking about it on social media. I haven't really talked about it too much. Um, I'm a passive, you know, partner inside the business. Um, but we're together tonight, so we're like, you know, why not talk about it? Why not explain it a little bit? Because um, there's a lot of ways to make money. There's ways to make money online. There's ways to make money, you know, affiliate marketing, e-commerce, you know, drop shipping, uh, social media marketing sheets. There's so many different ways to make money, um, but not that many people know how to invest money. If you guys have been watching recently, um, you know, I've been investing a little bit more. You know, I've been doing cryptocurrencies. I've been doing this ATM business model, which is passive income. Um, and it's not making me like that much yet. You know, it's not making me rich overnight, but it's making me um, passively five thousand a month. Um, his a little bit more since he has a little bit more um, equity in our in our uh, business relationship. But I mean, the extra five thousand dollars a month. That's like still money I can use. You know, that's my car payment. It helps with the rent. Um, you know, and five thousand dollars a month. You know, that can be life changing for a lot of people. Um, and it only took like less than two months to really do that. And it's every single month. It's gonna grow. It's gonna keep continuously growing. Um, especially with the deals that we start to close, you know, going into 2018, I can see that. What maybe like what 20, 30? Uh, it's definitely gonna go up to like the, obviously the five figures for sure a month. Yeah. Um, just the deals that we have lined up pending. So right. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, but the cool thing is, is that if I can do it and Josh can do it, anybody out there can really do it. 100. You know, once I explain it, I kind of show you guys <clears throat> how simple it really is to you know make money through you know recycling money. I like to say recycling, <laughs> yeah. basically recycling money. Um, it's pretty dope. It's a pretty dope business model, you know. Right. Um, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, guys, in this video is I'm gonna kind of have Eric break it down a little bit, um, like the way he first told me about it. When he first told me, I remember we were at HQ. If you guys follow me for a while, you've seen the penthouse I used to have, and uh, he came over and he was like, "Yo, like we can start making money with ATMs," and I was like. What? Like, <laughs> yeah. Bro, like, you guys did this online. Like, this, is what we, like, this is what we know. All right. And um, he, he broke it down and I had a ton of questions. Like, a lot of you guys right now are, you probably have a lot of questions. Um, and because it's not tr you know, traditional, it's not what people told you to do. It's not, you know, nobody says, hey, you know, print cash from an ATM and make money every month. Right, <laughs> nobody, right. nobody tells you to do that. Um, so that, I had a lot of questions. So I'm gonna have Eric kind of break it down um, the same way he kind of broke it down to me at first, and then answer some of your guys' questions um, for those of you guys that are watching it live. And um, I'll kind of ask questions, the same questions that I kind of asked you at first. Um, and then we'll talk about you know, how you can scale it, how, you know, how we plan on scaling it, right, how right. the kind of business model works and stuff like that. I mean, you know, an extra five grand a month, 10 grand a month, that's just my cut. Uh, you know, his is a bit more, but an extra five, 10 grand a month, 15 grand a month, it's not really that much work. Um, once you do the work one time, that's it. You know, you're done. Mm -hmm. One day, you're done. You know, it goes on and on and on um, for each project. So you want to kind of break it down a little bit? Like yeah, yeah. Piece? So let me kind of break it down the way I broke it down to Josh. So I was like, Josh, have you ever used an ATM? I'm not talking about like a bank ATM like Chase or Bank of America. Not those type of ATMs, <clears> but have you used like an ATM maybe like a... Like the first time I thought about it, maybe that cruise we went to a Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed to take out money that had an ATM on yeah, the ship, yeah. right? Right. So I wondered, like, who actually owns that ATM? Does the actual cruise on the ATM? Does somebody actually, you know, own that and just run it for them? And so, if you guys have ever used an ATM, they charge you like a fee to use it, right? To take out money, yeah. right? Somebody basically owns that ATM, meaning they bought the ATM, they put cash in it, and they told the business, like, hey, I'm gonna place an ATM here, and basically, I'm gonna split the transaction fee between me and you, which is the business owner. And so every time somebody uses the ATM, mm -hmm. right, they get a percentage, right, off the transaction and it gets directly input into their bank account right when that happens. Right. So it's pretty cool. And the question I had at first was, cause like the concept's kinda hard to grasp. Right, right. I was like, wait, how does you know, somebody use the ATM and they take out cash and money goes into my bank account? Like how does that make sense? Right, so right. So you wanna kinda of explain that? Yeah, so that's kinda of what I did here. So I, okay. I think this is kinda of like the best way, easiest way to explain it, right. just by drawing it out. So let me kinda of explain to you guys how it actually works. So this is basically you right here, okay? 
you got a little smile on your face because you're happy because you're making passive income through owning ATMs, okay? Now this is your ATM machine right here. Now for instance, I'm gonna use an easy number so we can all kind of you know, follow through with it. Let's just say you have 100 bucks, $100. I'm pretty sure it's easy for somebody to get 100 bucks, right? Um, I don't know how you're gonna get that 100 bucks, right? You're gonna borrow from a friend, maybe you have 100 bucks, right? Maybe you're gonna ask, and ask somebody to borrow, I don't know how you're gonna get it. But you have 100 bucks and you put that inside an ATM machine. Now here it goes Bob, I like to call him Bob, okay? Now Bob is basically your customer, okay? And what that basically means is Bob needs, he's kind of upset because he, needs, he, he left the house, right, and he needs cash, right, and there's not a bank nearby. So Bob actually sees your ATM, okay, he sees your ATM, he's like, you know what, I'm gonna go get cash from this ATM. So Bob actually goes to your ATM. Now remember, these are a couple things that you need to have to have a business, an ATM business. You need to have your own bank account. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody has a bank account, right? Right. And so what's gonna happen is Bob's gonna see your ATM machine, right? Bob's gonna put his debit, his debit card in the, in the machine, he's gonna type in his PIN, and what's gonna happen is that your machine is gonna verify that Bob actually has $100 in his bank. This is Bob's bank right here, okay? Right. And once the machine verifies he has 100 bucks, the machine is gonna give him 100 bucks. Pretty cool, right? right? right. Now what happens is that once Bob takes out that 100 bucks, that 100 bucks is debited hit from his bank account and credited to your bank account right plus away. Plus the fee. Plus the fee, plus right. the fee. So for instance, uh, you know, for, for this example, you're charging $3. So every time somebody uses your machine to take out cash, you're charging them $3. So for instance, Bob took out $100, okay? Now, what, what happens when he takes that $100 out, Bob gets debited $103. Right, right, right. $100 to take out plus the $3 fee. It gets debited from his account and credited into your bank account. And now what you're doing is that you're gonna take that 100 bucks again and put it back into your machine, right? Another customer's gonna come along, take out money, and that's basically how you make your profit. And that's why I kind of say it's kind of like recycling money because right. you're not losing your money. Right, right. That's what most people think. Oh, when somebody takes out money, I'm losing 100 bucks. Yeah, right? yeah. I'm losing 100 bucks. I'm like, hold up. How am I getting paid when they're taking my money out of my exactly. You know, machine? Exactly. So that's basically why I'm saying you're recycling your money. You're putting your money back into your machine. Somebody's using, you know, borrowing the money. You're charging them a fee to borrow your money, right? You're putting that money back into your bank account and you're making profit at the same time. So that's kind of like I said, it's just you're following this process. And the cool thing I love about this is that once that transaction happens within 24 hours, the money's in your bank account. Right, okay. So it's pretty so, cool. So, and the way you guys gotta think about it is so there's that $3 fee. Um, and he said, so, there's no expense at all um, for the business owners, for whoever owns the shop that you have your ATM in, um, for them. So this is why it's right. very easy and very lucrative for them to you know, negotiate and to be willing to do it. Because you know, for us, some shops, especially barber shops, hair salons, mm -hmm. marijuana dispensaries. Oh yeah. Um, one. What, what other ones? Uh, uh, there's uh, basically hotels that have more than 100 rooms. If you've ever been to like a hotel and they have like an ATM in their lobby. Yeah. A lot of people come from different countries, different cities, and they're not. They don't really have their banks nearby. Right. So they can use an ATM. Right. 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 Um, so the barbershop salons. We have gentlemen's clubs. <laughs> uh, we got yeah. um, basically liquor stores, yeah. convenience stores, supermarkets. Um, and sometimes they're just out on the street. You yeah, know? so like you can get money to your local drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's crazy, like you can put an ATM in any business and the cool thing about it, like I said, it's pretty easy to talk to the business owner because at the there's no expense for the business owner. And business actually like cash. They like cash rather than somebody swiping a card because so businesses, if somebody swipes a card at a business, they have to pay a uh, fee to whoever their merchant is, right. which is usually like 2.9%, right. plus like 30 cents. Right. So businesses lose about almost 3% of every charge you know, whenever somebody uses a card. So this is why you know, barbers and all these people, they like taking cash because it, otherwise it cuts into the profit. Right. So by giving them um, an ATM, and you might have been to a place um, that only takes cash. I've seen places that only mm -hmm. take cash. Mm -hmm. So by getting an ATM and you know, putting it in the business, the business is like, all right, well just by them, putting the ATM in here, right. I'm already making 3% extra money. Right. I'm already making 3% extra money. And if you're a business that's doing, you know, um, 100,000 a month, you know, a, you know, a million dollars a month, that's the difference between 3,000 and, you know, 30,000 yeah, dollars. Know, crazy. Crazy. So, I mean, it's a huge, huge difference. So just by putting the ATM inside of the business, you're, they're already making more money. Then, now you can work out a deal with them. Some, sometimes, you know, I know some of the clients we did, um, they're just willing to have an ATM in there just because it's more convenient for them. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, some of the bigger ones, we just worked with this um, medical dispensary uh, for marijuana, and they have like, what, 30 locations, so we're starting to put locations, um, yeah. ATMs inside their locations currently, 
um, but they have been pitched by other people before. So we have, and other people try to you know give them maybe a couple cents out of three dollars. I'm like, hey, we'll give you you know close to a buck right. you know, after, for every transaction. So now not only are they getting more cash, but they're also getting almost a dollar for every single transaction that goes through there. And then we just take the other two. There's right. no expense to us. We just fronted the the money, and the money's coming back to us anyways. Um, so. It's just it's just a better business model because no matter what, it's creating the business owner more profit, yes. and then it's creating us more profit. Really, the only person who is out money is the person who's taking out money, because, <laughs> but they're only paying like three dollars. Yeah, so it's not, it's not that big a deal. And the thing about it, there's a lot of different like uh, I would say benefits for the business owner because not only are we increasing like the foot traffic in the business, mm -hmm. right? Not only are we increasing like the cash flow in the business, yeah, right? But people that walk by and maybe don't even want to go, maybe it's a barbershop, right? But right. I don't want to, I don't need a haircut, but I do need 20 bucks, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm not near a bank, but I see that barbershop has an ATM. I'm going to go inside that ATM, I mean that barbershop and use the ATM, right. right? So it's obviously increasing more foot traffic for the business as well. And so in all in all, every business owner wants more cash flow. Yes, for sure. Percent. You know, it's going to save them on their merchant fees. So it's a, it's a win-win situation for the business owner and yourself. And it's, I think it's a win situation for the customer too, because like I said, I, I, I've been there. I've been there. You've been there, right? Yeah. Like, damn, I need cash, right? We don't have cash. And it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And sucks. I see an ATM. It's convenient. All right. All I got to do is go in there and get cash out. Super convenient, right? Now, I want you guys to think how big this can really get. Now, there's people that do this part-time. So if you're out there and you want to make a part-time <laughs> income, you, that's definitely possible for this. If you're out there and you want to make a full-time income, that's definitely possible as well. And if you want to get filthy rich, you can also do this as well. And I've been doing it for six months until I got Josh into it because I wanted to make sure it worked before I got any, any of my business partners into it. You know, So I came with Josh, not just with results, but with numbers. And that's where you kind of saw the bigger pictures of how big this can really get. Yeah, I and said free money, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. I got money in the bank, I want to keep it there. <laughs> right. So, so it, was, it was a win-win situation. So I want to tell people out there is that if you're looking for a different way to make more money in 2018, like I said, we all promote online. Online is the, is the way to go, for sure. There's yeah. a lot of different ways you can make money online. Easiest way to get about. started. Easiest way to get started, right. And, but if you're out there, you already have money, right? Uh, maybe you already have a business. Maybe you already have a really good job, but you just want to have some passive income coming in no matter what, some lifetime income. Well, this is definitely for you then. This is yeah. definitely a possibility that you can get into. And, and, and the cool thing with this is as long as the store is there that's using the ATM that you guys installed, um, he's going to kind of talk about you know how that process works. So you guys are probably like, oh, that seems cool. You guys are making money. Cool. But I, I, how can I do this? So he'll go into that a little bit. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, dude, if that shop is there for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, you know, most... Most of the time, established businesses like that are there, you know, for a long time. For sure. You know, um, that's money. That's you know, like think of the compounding, um, you know, interest on that, dude. Like right. maybe three dollars. Let's just say um, thirty transactions a day. Thirty transactions a day was like about ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. Ninety bucks every single day for the next twenty years. Damn. That's like. <laughs> I dropped out of school, so I don't know those numbers. <laughs> well, think about it. That's good money. If you do 30 transactions a day. And that's only 30, dude. There's, there's a, these <laughs> businesses that we're doing are doing at least 100 transactions a day. Yeah. So it's, it's just like in real estate, it's the same thing about this ATM business. It's all about location, location, location. Mm -hmm. So think of like the most busiest, you know, restaurant, busiest, barbershop, busiest, whatever it may be, Strip right? Strip club. Strip club. They're <laughs> definitely Marijuana busy. Dispensary. <laughs> definitely <laughs> busy, right? And I'll talk about like the high volume locations, the ones that you should go for because you'll definitely make a ton of money and you'll definitely have for sure transactions. But for example, 30 transactions a day. Let's right. say you're charging $3 fee at 30 transactions a day, right? In mm -hmm. one location, okay? Just one location, 30 transactions a day, $3, right? That's pretty cool, right? Pretty dope, 90 right? Bucks, yeah. 90 bucks, right? 90 bucks times 30 days. Dude, let's do monthly. Let's see how much you can make in a month. You're making 2,700 bucks a month right. off one ATM machine. <laughs> off yeah. one machine. Stacks up. Right? So let's just, do, let's just say you want to have five machines. 2,700 times five. Yeah. That's a five figures. Way over that, yeah. That's almost $10,000 a month, right? Just running ATM machine, a passive ongoing income. So you really, yeah, it is the power. 10, actually. Yeah, it's a little bit more than 10. 14, 15, something like that. Yeah, so it's a five figure month. So the past six months I've been doing this, I didn't need that many ATM machines, yeah. right? To make a five figure a month business. Um, and the thing about it, it wasn't hard selling the business because you're not really selling. Yeah, it's, I think a lot of people have something free. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say, but I can't go into a business and talk to a business owner, but you're, yeah. it's hard when you're trying to sell them something. Yeah. But if you're trying to really help them out and you know explain to them the process, how it actually helps their business out, 
it's kind of like a win-win situation, kind of like a right. no-brainer. And because we can sell, you know, we have, yeah. we have an agency, we can sell, we can close deals. Yeah. But like here, it's like, all right, let's go in here and close the deal. Except, you know, and you, you give them all the same value, you give them all the same information. Yeah. But instead of the exchange of value being them giving you money, you're just like, all right, here, here. Yeah. <laughs> here, here. It's you're giving honestly, them something for free. It's honestly kind of fun to do. Yeah, it's like, here, take my money. Yeah, <laughs> and you for take sure. Your for sure. So it's like, it's definitely, like I said, something that really anybody can plug into. You don't need to be a genius to figure this out. Trust me, I'm not the smartest kid. I was the guy in, in high school that got straight C's with trying really hard. I was trying really hard and I still got straight C's, right? I was that guy. And um, you know, like, if I can do this right, anybody can really make this happen. And that's why I want to share this with you guys because there's nobody really, there's people doing it, don't get me wrong. Yeah. There's people doing it out there. But well, yeah, every time you use an ATM, you're making somebody money. Exactly. There's, cause there's ATMs out there. Yeah. So there's definitely people doing this out there, right? Uh, but and if, I, you guys, if you guys follow him too, you um, probably see on a Snapchat, you know, all the ATMs that you know we've been working on. You see sure. it for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you're gonna keep on seeing them because we got a big deal coming in, and uh, I'm definitely gonna you know document everything so you guys can see it. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can obviously, like I said, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Be happy to help you out um, and answer those questions. But um, it's definitely, like I said, a business model where anybody can really plug into yeah. um, and really become successful because there's nothing really to figure out, you know? It's really, like I said, <laughs> it's like you know... Plug, like you just plug into the system. Yeah. Like, you guys, you literally, as long as you get it down, as long as you follow the system, you print, like you make cash, printing cash for people who need cash <laughs> so business owners can take more cash. <laughs> yeah, that's what it <laughs> like, is. It's, it's like... When he told me at first, I was like, wait, what? Like, like it didn't process in my head. Um, it took me a while to get it. And then when I really realized, I was like, and then I started thinking like, well, dude, like there's probably already like businesses there. You probably already have ATMs. And then I started realizing like when I started going to the barbershop, I'm like, yo, you're on an ATM? Nah. I'm like, what? They don't. <laughs> it's a cash only yeah, business. And I'm like, uh, I'll be right back. And you're like, all right, well, don't run off <laughs> my money. Yeah, you know, you owe me sure. 20 bucks, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's actually, we should actually put an ATM inside that barber shop. No, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I actually just got my tattoo done, right? Just got a tattoo done. And it was so funny. Uh, the owner happened to be there when I was getting my tattoo. And when I was finished getting my tattoo, he was like, I was like, hey, you know, have um, you ever thought about having an ATM in your business? I know it's cash only. It was only cash only tattoo yeah. place. And he was like, oh, you know what? Nah, well, let me tell you this. You know, I actually you know, provide the ATM, ATM machine for you. I actually provide the cash in the machine for you as well. And you and I just split the transaction fee every month. How's that sound? He was like, wow. <laughs> like, I'm actually down. Like, like it sounds like, like people are usually like, you know, what's the catch? Right. You know, right. what's like the, you know, it was like nothing. <laughs> yeah, like there was a catch or something like, and he was like, I'm down. He was like, I'm down. It's a yes for me. He's like, when can you do it? And I was like, I can have it in within a week. Is that okay? He's like, absolutely, let's do it. And so it literally took me no less than three minutes yeah. to, to get a yes from the business owner. And now that's potentially freaking 2,500 to 10,000 a month. And the cool thing is, is check this out. Is like, he even told me, he's like, well, my brother has a tattoo shop, right? Mm -hmm. And I know three other tattoo shops that don't have any ATMs. So that just led, not just one sale, but to three more sales, total of four. In a matter of three minutes. That's just ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month like that. <laughs> like that. And so <laughs> it's it, crazy. It's crazy what this can really turn into. Um, if you really just take it serious. And this is like I said, you can have a full time job, you can have a part time job and do this on the side. Like this can be your ultimate side hustle, right? Yeah. Um, until your side hustle starts making more than your full time job or part time job. It's gonna take a while for it to do that for me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. dude, like I mean for me, more money than a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, for me, where I mean, dude, an extra about as I mean, it's not exactly like five grand. I think it's like four thousand nine hundred something, but pretty damn close. Yeah, you yeah. know, that's almost an extra sixty thousand a year if I stayed stagnant and didn't like invest or use any new ATMs. Yeah, like that's if I just was like, all right, I'm out. Don't talk to me ever again, Eric. <laughs> yeah. So, but as long that's as that's like your car payment, bro, for your expensive ass GTI. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, grand, bro. Like Claren, too. Oh that. my god. So think about it. Like it can cover your car payment. It can cover sometimes your mortgage, right? It can cover your gas for the month. Like literally, like passive income. We all know this. Passive income yeah. is the best income to have, right? One hundred percent. So that's what it can kind of create for you if you really, you know, take it serious. Take it serious, you know. Yeah. Um, and the thing about it, there's nobody like I was saying. There's nobody out there really 
teaching people how to do this. Right, right. Um, so that's kind of the cool thing about it. There's people doing it, but there's nobody showing right, you how to do hard. it. If you don't know, if you don't have that connection, if you don't have Absolutely. Um, that information, you know, you won't know this, you know, you won't have any hope of ever right. succeeding if you don't have that information. Right. You know, I say it all the time, you know, the more, you, or you don't know what you don't know, and, you know, the more you learn, the more you earn, mm -hmm. you know, and I think a lot of people kind of underestimate that, you know, a lot of people are oblivious to what's really out there. So. While talking about that, you know, how you get started, a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, like, you know, seems cool, but how can I do this? You know, I get it. You know, you make extra money. I get it. You like, so can you, well, you want to break down? I don't think you don't have one here, right? Uh, no. But if you just want to break down, like, what's the process? Um, just kind of, you know, in very simple terms, like how when you first explained it to me, what's the process of, you, you know, started? yeah, you, you like, you find a store, you find a shop, you know, you want an ATM in there. What's the process of, you know, you want it in there, you haven't said anything yet, to actually getting it in there and like the time frame. Okay, so for sure. So let's just say you have a business that said, you know what, I want an ATM machine. Right. Pretty cool. There's a ton of merchants out there that sell machines, mm -hmm. right? First of all, don't ever buy a used ATM machine uh, because, you know, why would they be selling it, first of all? <laughs> right? right? <laughs> if making them money, why would they sell it? Right. Right? Um, so always want to buy new ATM machines. And there's a ton of merchants out there that sell them. Uh, and once you get the machine, it's pretty cool. The machine does all the work for you. Uh, the merchant actually provides the shipping, so it ships it to the location you want it at for you. Mm -hmm. Right? It sets it up for you. It programs the machine for you. Right. Um, and all you have to do, there's a guy that comes and sets it up for you. And he basically teaches you how to use the machine. So it's hands off. Pretty so much. it's hands off, right? Once right. you learn how to manage the machine, which is super easy, right? It's hands off. So you can actually, like I said, you put put cash inside it, let it go, and then every time you know somebody uses the machine, you actually have a back office too. Okay. You have your own back office that it actually shows you, uh, you know, how many transactions the machine is doing, right, or right. how much cash is still in the machine. And people can can just access this, you know, as long as from they have their it. phone, or they yep. can access it from their computer. Yep. Right. And so it tells you when you need to go, you know, dispense more cash in your ATM machine. Right. It tells you basically everything you need to know to manage your machine. So it's pretty easy. And I basically set it up to the point where I do that once a month. Yeah. So once a month, I go and it's about one day of work a month. Yes. And how long would you say for people wondering, you know, how many hours of work is it that day? Um, I would say it's a good three to four hours. So three to four hours make you know ten thousand plus a month. Not bad. Not bad. Three to four hours of work a month, ten thousand plus. I'm not saying it's, it's not work. Yeah, it's four it's hours of work. work. <laughs> four hour work week. This is a four hour work month. <laughs> yeah. Um, if that sounds lucrative, you know, if you would like to work four hours a month and make you know you know at least four thousand, but like ten thousand a month. Comment, you know. I want to print cash. Comment, I want to print cash. I'm sure. Video. For sure. Um, and then we'll be the next step. So they can check the back office. Check their back office and basically that's pretty much it. That's, that's how you manage all your machines. And so, and you can get to the point where, you know what, I don't even want to go refill my machines anymore. Right. I'm going to have somebody else do it for me. Right. I'm going to pay somebody 10 bucks an hour mm -hmm. or it takes four hours to do it. It's 40 bucks. 40 bucks, right, to go out there and refill my machines. Yeah. And then it's automatically on autopilot. So essentially, once you do all the groundwork, because every business you have to do work up front. Um, there's never going to be anything where you just sleep 24/7. You have to put in the groundwork. You have to learn how. You have to find somebody who can teach you. You have to, you know, put in that initial investment and you know to build something. But once you build it, you can just chill. You, you can once you, yeah. chill. Yeah. <laughs> you like can once, scale your business. You can you can yeah. do more. You can diversify your income. And hey. My teams are killing it. I got money to invest in other things. Yeah, you know? put it in crypto. You crypto, know? crypto. Uh, yeah, you know, put it into real estate. You know, right. put it into you know, running advertisements and building an online business, building an online brand. Um, the possibilities are li literally endless. But the like initial thing is just you know, once you get started, um, you gotta put in that groundwork. You have to know what you're doing. You have to know what steps to process. So you don't fuck up and delay how long it takes you to actually see success and see income. And then from there, you can scale. And it's up to you how fast you want to scale, how big you want to scale, um, how much money you know you want to make. It's all up to you, depending on the amount of groundwork, initial work you want to put in, and right. how many hours a month you want to actually maintain the business. Right, no, for sure. And so I'll tell you this it took me a ton of time trying to figure it out on my own. Right. So, people out there, because there's a, you know, I'm breaking it down in, in simple terms, but there's a, there's a ton of things out there that, you know, you, you need to know. Um, as well as getting into this business. Yeah, and it's, so, it's not like it's, it's simple, but like if you just try to like you know go on eBay and you know buy an ATM and then like get your phone and try to figure out how to hook it up and just you know shove it into a yeah. random shop, it's not yeah. that easy. No, no, it's not. It's not. So 
I think if, if you're out there and you're, you're definitely serious about it, not just curious, but serious about it, um, the best way to do it and go about it, and this is how I do it anyways, when I yeah. want to get into like a new industry, I want to acquire a new skill, I want to do something different that I don't know really how to you do. Just find somebody who's doing it. Find somebody that's better than it than you yeah. and has results and let them guide you. Yeah, you and know? we're gonna be we're gonna be releasing uh, probably this is gonna be a podcast on um, the dropout of Greece. So if you're listening to this, you're watching this right now. It's gonna be there and on my YouTube channel. And you guys are obviously watching it live. Um, we're gonna put out more stuff about it for sure. Because um, sure. I, I find a lot of people recently, um, a lot actually, you know, like dude, Josh. We see you crushing it. We see you killing it. We know you make money online. We know you do this. We know you do that. But like, what are all your sources of income? Um, I get about 200 to 500 DMs a day on Instagram, and I think at least 10% of them is like, like, what are the other ways to make money for sure. besides what you put on social media? Um, so I think it's important to let you guys know um, because what I've talked about in the past, what I've talked about in the past is like the stuff that we got started with, the stuff right. that you know led us led us on this path, but not everything we do now because the things I you know talk about now on social media are not always the things I'm actively doing. Because I'm way past that. And if I were to talk about the things that I'm actively doing, most people wouldn't be able to comprehend it or understand it because it's way too difficult um, and it takes a lot more you know, cash flow and uh, investment to get started. But I think it's important for you guys to learn and you know, become informed on it. So when you start here and start making money here, um, you can say, hey, I want to diversify over here. You can kind of take that same route that I took. Um, because if you can follow the same steps that I took, the same steps that Eric took, and go down that same route, Instead of trying to figure it out in yourself and trying to just, you know, um, whatever you're trying to do, um, it's just going to be a lot easier for you guys to, you know, scale, to see success, to um, really cut that learning curve and, you know, save yourself a lot of time and save yourself a lot of freaking money. Yep. Um, yeah, that's I wasted, for sure. That's I wasted for sure. a lot of money. <laughs> I um, waste a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, you waste a lot of time. I waste a lot of money on <laughs> shit that doesn't work right. because, you know, not doing the proper research, not being guided by the proper people, um, you know, and just having no roadmap. I didn't have a roadmap to follow. Right. Um, I've had mentors who taught me, you know, life skills, you know, things that helped me grow, things that taught me work ethic, things that taught me how to communicate. But there was never really anybody that was like, Josh, this is exactly how you make money. Mm. Josh, this is what you need to do with your money. Josh, this is how you duplicate your money. And because of that, you know, when I started first actually making money because of things I learned on my own, um, I've lost a lot of money. I spent a lot of money. I didn't like I didn't really start investing and making uh, and like making my money make me more money right, until right. like seven, eight months ago. But I've been making money online for like two years. Right. You know? Um, so it's very important that you guys like you know take this type of stuff serious and you know really open your your mind, open your eyes, and open your vision to what's really possible. Because it's not just making money online. It's not just ecom and affiliate marketing. You know, there's like we talked about. You know, there's cryptocurrencies. There's ATM passive business models that really print cash. You know, there's real estate. Um, there's just so many different things that you guys can get involved with. Right. That's you know going to make you money instead of just leaving it in the bank. And that's, I think that's super super important. Uh, for you guys really understand. For sure. And uh, I think I, something I learned from a mentor a long time ago was that, you know, the best income is passive, right? So there's, if there's a way you can make passive income, right, that's the way to go. Because the cool thing about this is that, you know what, I've done this because I, have, I haven't worked a job since I was 20. Right. So it's been like around five, five and a half years, almost six years. And there's no way I can go back. And I'm not, I'm not against jobs, by the way. Right. I'm just against working for the plus years. You know, <laughs> yeah. so like I, I can't go back to, you know, having to get up at a time I don't want to get up at and, you know, extend my time, right, doing something I don't want to do. And then at the end of the day, I don't like what I'm getting paid. Yeah. You know, so look, if you're out there and you're serious about creating passive income, this is the way you can do it, right? Yeah. Um, this I saw is something today, sorry to cut you off, but I saw something today. It was like, um, you know, these big corporations, mm -hmm. um, they pay people just enough not to quit right and these people who they paid just enough not to quit work just hard enough not to get fired oh shit <laughs> and it's just an endless cycle yeah and that's how it works yeah one side falls off they get fired or the other side you know falls off well they're not gonna get the job because they're not getting paid enough right so it's just a perfect balance between people working you know just hard enough to not get fired and them getting paid just enough not to quit right and um that's crazy to me yeah because Here's how this, that system works. I don't think you ever had a job, huh? Um, I did, and I was 16, <laughs> 16 over summer, hard labor, janitorial stuff, getting my hands dirty to make money. Damn. Sucked ass. 
Then um, after that, I was like, never again, <laughs> never again. Uh, if, you guys follow, yeah, if, you guys, if you guys follow my journey since day one, you guys listen to my podcast. You guys know I've been hustling and flipping stuff, but uh, I went to try it out. And I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> you know? Um, and here's why, dude. Because you go to work, get paid. 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 You trade your time for money. But if you don't go to work, you 